In this video, I want to share with you three design directions that I'm very excited about for 2024. Now, in the title of the video, I call them design trends, but they're really design directions uh, because I don't necessarily expect them to explode in the design world this year. Rather, they're directions that I personally am excited to explore uh, uh, in 2024. Direction number one or trend number one is darker, richer woods. Now, light woods reign supreme for a number of years, but we're seeing a resurgence of mid-tone and darker woods. And personally, this is something I am excited about because I've always been naturally drawn to darker tones and flooring and cabinetry and furniture. In my own projects, I haven't used a lot of light woods, and where I have used them, they've always been tempered by darker elements. For example, in this space, we used white oak flooring, but the cabinetry is very dark. So this year, I'm looking forward to using more stained woods in those mid-tone and dark stains, definitely in cabinetry, in bathroom vanities, and kitchens. Here, I will likely continue to create two-tone or even three-tone kitchens. I love having lighter upper cabinets and then darker lowers with the island in a different finish. This is a great way to introduce stained wood if you don't want to commit to it in the whole kitchen. Here, for example, we used mahogany for the island, whereas the cabinetry is painted. And I will continue to also use these darker tones in furniture. I love how darker tables, for example, ground the room and create a great focal point. Direction number two is cool metals. Brass has been a huge trend in decor for several years, and I myself have really enjoyed it. There's still a lot of brass product out there on the market from lighting to hardware to furniture. So I think it will be a while before it's fully on its way out. And I myself am really excited to return to cooler metals. The one cool metal that I'm a big fan of and I tend to gravitate towards in my projects is polished nickel. It is warmer than chrome and stainless steel and I find it incredibly elegant and sophisticated. And if you're not really ready to say goodbye to warm metals yet, polished nickel pairs beautifully with brass for that mixed metal look that I love in a space. Now, don't be afraid that cooler metals will make your space feel cold and uninviting. They still can pair beautifully with warm tones, be it wood or leather or uh, fabrics. For example, in this space by Nam Deng Mitchell, uh, she used cool metals in the base of the desk, in her lighting, uh, but pair them with these beautiful, rich uh, woods, leather, and accessories on the shelf. And I think we can agree that the overall, the space reads uh, very warm and inviting. Direction number three is more understated stone and other materials. Statement marble and statement stone in general has been extremely popular over the last uh, few years and for good reason. It is truly stunning. I myself have been using um, marbles such as Calacara for a long time. Uh, I like to think before they even became a, a big trend. But because it's been so hugely popular, I myself am ready to embrace other directions and I'm turning more to more understated um, stone as well as other materials. Now, of course, if you've just completed a kitchen or a bathroom reno and have used statement stone, I'm sure you will enjoy it for years to come. What I'm talking about here is new projects that won't come to fruition for the next you know, 12 to 18 months. For kitchens and bathrooms, I'm turning more to tile for backsplash than heavily veined slabs. For countertops, again, more understated stone with more subtle veining. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of Carrara marble, which is seen as a more humble variety because it is more ubiquitous, but I find it really beautiful. And also just stone with, you know, generally softer appearance versus dramatic veining. Now, I'm not worried about reduced interest in my spaces because I like to add that interest with detail in cabinetry and interesting hardware. Now, for elements such as fireplaces, I'm embracing materials such as cast stone or millwork. And again, here we rely on the detail of that design uh, to add interest versus the material itself. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me in the comments what you think about these design directions or trends and, and whether you are planning on exploring any of them yourself. Until next time.